she's going to be right here, and like she is every day through my training, and helping me remember, you know, to focus on what's important, and our kids, their dignity, our colleagues out there, and um, it, it, this makes me sad to talk about, but she she will be there. She will be there, and you know what? This well, I'll kind of laugh because knowing Krista. What she would have said is, Barb, I'll be giving you goo goo eyes. <laughs> and I'll be thinking about that. <laughs> the most important question is um, what do you think about the documentary, Kristen Paul from Two Stars? I love it, <laughs> it is wonderful. Today I'm directing NASA to begin a search in all of our elementary and secondary schools and to choose as the first citizen passenger in the history of our space program one of America's finest a teacher if you want to be brave and reach for the top of the sky and the farthest point on the horizon Soldiers and seafarers, artists and dreamers who need to be close, close to the light. They need to be in danger of burning by fire. And I Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> this is Krista McAuliffe, live from the Challenger, and I'm going to be taking you through a field trip. While teaching full time, Krista studied for a master's degree in education at Bowie State, one of the first black colleges in the country. I'm sure that she must have been told that by her friends. Why? Why Bowie? A person of her caliber and her background and her and her. GPA and her skills as an educator and her experience in New England. She could have gone any place she, she wanted to, but yet she chose to, a historical black school. Well, I want everybody working real hard to make education what it should be in this country. Thank you very much. <laughs> NASA also selected a backup teacher to undergo the training with Krista, Barbara Morgan from Idaho. Chris and I used to kind of tease that the reason uh, she and I happened to be picked was it, it would be uh, somebody from New Hampshire, somebody from Idaho, or somebody from Arkansas or Louisiana because they were the lowest paid teachers at the time. <laughs> and NASA was reimbursing our school for our salaries. Good morning, Krista. Hope we go today. Good morning. Hope so too. All of a sudden, you're starting to think NASA is supposed to know all these things. And we thought that they knew all these things. And Krista called us the night before, and she said, no matter what, Mom, that we're going the next day. Florida was unseasonably cold that January, with freezing temperatures. I did speak to her that morning because I was concerned about the icicles. She said, yes, it's going to go today. She said, that's a definite. She said that because if it wasn't going today, it would have to be delayed for months. My husband looked up at the shuttle and he could see the icicles as we all could, and everybody was shivering, it was so cold. And he said, oh, if I could go there, I'd take her off of it. I said, she wouldn't come. She told me she had butterflies. I remember her saying she had some butterflies, but she was excited. 
this is it. This is the day. Um, cold or not, they'll take care of the icicles, and we're going. Ron McNair and uh, pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista McAuliffe, teacher in space, and, uh, Ellison Onizuka, and payload specialist Greg Jarvis. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Roger, roll, Challenger. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to 65% uh, shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Throttling up, three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, nine nautical miles. Downrange distance, seven nautical miles. carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. Those who knew Krista, and even many who never met her, feel connected to the dynamic teacher. In a very real way, Krista is still teaching us from her classroom in space. I touch the future. I teach. And, and I, I really appreciate that sentiment, and that's going to go with me.